Hey y'all, it's Caitlin. So, here is another random haul again with only two pops in it. But, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this one out of the way. And I might take it out of the box, I don't know. But, I've never had one of these. Never had one of these. And I have an idea in mind for a custom and I thought, I just need the basic base for it. So I got the DIY mail pop. Um... This will probably be later in the summer that you guys see this being uh, redone. But I do have a character in mind. I'm going to have to add a little bit of sculpting on it. I am curious. Because it says pre-primed. So um, it looks like it has been painted white. I thought it would just be like white vinyl. But yeah, it feels, it feels like paint. So I'm not going to take it out. I just wanted to go... <laughs> When did they make these? 2014. So, I don't even know if they still make the DIY pops or not. But, um, like I said, I just needed a really plain base, so I just went ahead. I figured it'd be cheaper just to get this one than it would be for me to find two, like, basic st style head and pops to put together. Or head and pops, head and body to put together. Because I'd have to get, it like, a regular, like, body, like, old classic... Uh, standard pop body and then like a bald head so, so this is just easier and cheaper so I finally have a DIY pop it's not going to stay white for long I'm working on something right now and I'll work on it as soon as soon as I get done with it but like I said it might still be a little while before I show y'all I'm sorry but it'll be worth the wait hopefully uh, and then I have the Black Widow uh, Entertainment Earth exclusive with the trading cards so, I got the trading cards from the Bombshell Box, and I kind of went crazy for them. I really, really loved, loved them, and I like the idea of Funko doing more trading cards. That It's really cool to me. But, I don't like how they're doing Endgame right now um, with so many, like, duplicate pops. Like, this is a common pop. This is a common pop, but they're putting the Entertainment Earth exclusive on there just because with Entertainment Earth you get the three trading cards. Um, and then they're making glow-in-the-dark variants of a lot of them with a t-shirt. Still the exact same sculpt, but it's going dark, so it's better apparently. I don't know. But, um, yeah. I, I just wish they would spice it up a little bit. And by the way, Entertainment Earth packed this very, very cheaply. It's not, like, super damaged, but there is, yeah, you can kind of see there, a small crease in the back. Because uh, they basically put this in a box just slightly bigger than a sorter. Slightly bigger than a sorter. Like, lit literally, there was probably about... The, the two sides here were flush against the cardboard, and so was this side. And then when I opened it, it had, like, that much space. I'm showing this one, so... And no protection on it whatsoever, so... But it came in good, con in fairly good condition. So I'm not going to complain too much, but I should. So, uh, oh, they're in a little card pack. That's so cute. I like the card pack. So Black Widow is the only one I really wanted. Um, I kind of want, I, I pre-ordered the uh, Thor with the box. Because I like the t-shirt design on it. Uh, so I got the one with the box and the T. Uh, and I kind of want one of the Hulks, but I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. But I wanted to go ahead and get the Black Widow because I've gotten all the Black Widows minus the very first one and the blonde one. Because I don't really care about the blonde. She does, she has a little bit of blonde still. Uh, but I didn't care for the look of the blonde one. So her little weapon here has a little rubber thing on it to keep it from bending. I guess. Feels like macaroni. <laughs> but, uh, I like, I actually really like the sculpt for her hair though, the little braid in the back. It's really cool. And personally, I'm a fan of the standard uniform for all of them. Because it makes them look very dynamic, much more like a team. I love her stance, like she's sideways here. I like that. A lot. You can see the little Avenger A on her chest. Oh, this is cool. But it looks like... Yeah, that's what happened. So when the paint was drying, 
Uh, it looks like they were putting the head onto the body and this, I don't know what you call them, these weapons scraped up against the head because there's these little scuff marks there. But other than that, the paint looks pretty good. There's several mess ups, you know, everywhere, but nothing too big to complain about. Can she stand without her stand? Yes, she can. She does not need her stand. So with these cards, there's three in a pack and you can get foil cards of Tony Stark, Captain America, Hulk, Thor, and Thanos. I don't know if they put one foil card in every pack. I don't know. We're just going to see. What's the point of putting a tear tab on there if it's still hard to open? Because I don't want to bend the cards. I'm just waiting for the day I'm using this X-Acto knife. And I cut myself so bad I had to put a blood trigger warning in the title. I know what's going to happen. Because I have cut myself with that X-Acto knife before. And okay, it looks like there's a foil card right on top. Doesn't look half bad, actually. I really love the look of these trading cards. Okay, I'm gonna put the foil one in the bag just for effect. So, so for the very first, so for this one we have War Machine, and I like how the number on the card matches up with the pop. Uh, I imagine that's the same number as the pop because I don't think they ma made 480, 458 of these trading cards yet. So we have War Machine. These are all going in an album with the bombshells. The bombshell cards are up there. I haven't put them in an album yet, but I need to. Have Thor, and then the foil card is Thanos. Foil cards were really cool. That looks really cool. I love, I don't know why I'm so happy about Funko trading cards, but I am. I'm like really, really hyped about it. I like it. But anyway guys, so that is it for my haul today. I kind of wish they didn't come in this packet because I kind of want to keep the packet, but I'm not going to. So, <laughs> I'm not a hoarder. Other than this. So that, uh, before we leave, let me know what you guys think of the trading cards. Because um, I think they're really cool. Cool. They're they're a little gimmicky, I'll admit, but it's a the gimmick to me. It's tradition. Kind of, because when you think about, you know, people our parents' age collect collected cards when they were a kid, so it's kind of like that timeless kind of thing. It's really, I don't really know how to describe it. It's just really nostalgic, I guess. Guess, and that's where Funko hits a lot of their home runs with nostalgic uh, stuff. So for me, that this hits the mark. I love it. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of the cards. What you think about all the endgame pops. Do you agree with me that they need to stop just doing the same sculpts for like three different pops? But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Remember, it's a community, not a competition. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.